Thank you, Sir Robert. To discuss the week 6 lesson for Mathematics 8, is a graduate of Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Mathematics at Rizal Technological University, Pasi, and currently taking his Master's of Arts in Teaching Mathematics at Ilohio Amang Rodriguez Institute of Science and Technology. Please welcome Mr. Erickson Python. Thank you for that introduction. Magandang araw, Batang Mandunong. I am Sir Erickson and ito na Teacher 2 from Sa Aklopes Integrated School. My task for today is to discuss Quarter 2, Week 6 of Grade 8, Clade Module. So these are the objective for this session. Number 1. To identify the hypothesis and the conclusion in a statement. Number two, to determine the relationship between the hypothesis and the conclusion of an if-then statement. Number three, to transform a statement into an equivalent if-then statement. Getting ready. Given P. You watch this video carefully. Q. You will definitely understand this topic. Problem. What does P, Q represent? Solution. In example 1, P represent you watch this video carefully and Q represent you will definitely understand this topic. The statement P then Q is a conditional statement which represents if P then Q. If you watch this video carefully, then you will definitely understand this topic. Our hypothesis, if you watch this video carefully, and our conclusion, you will definitely understand this topic. Definition. A conditional statement symbolized by P, Q, is an if-then statement in which P is a hypothesis and Q is a conclusion. The logical connector in a conditional statement is denoted by the symbol arrow. Key concept. Definition. A conditional is an if-then statement. The hypothesis is the part P following if. The conclusion is the part Q following then. In symbol, P, arrow Q, read us if P, then Q. Or P implies Q. If you look at the diagram for the conditional statement, we can see that we have two circles, one within another. The hypothesis, the if P parts, is always gonna be inside the conclusion. So in the diagram, we can conclude that if P hypothesis would be within the conclusion Q. Conditional statements have two parts. The hypothesis is the part of conditional statement that follows if when written in if-then form. The hypothesis is the given facts that are assumed to be true. The conclusion is the part of an if-then statement that follows then when written in if-then form. The conclusion is the result of the given information. So if P, then Q. Our hypothesis is P, Q is the conclusion. So implication is a statement formed by hypothesis and conclusion. Example 1. 
If I win the game, then I'll get a prize. What is the hypothesis? Hypothesis, I win the game. Conclusion, I'll get the prize. Next, example number two. If the lines are parallel, then they do not intersect. So hypothesis, the lines are parallel. Conclusion, they do not intersect. Example number three. If the number is even, then the number is divisible by two. So our hypothesis, a number is even. And the conclusion, the number is divisible by two. Conditional statement might not always be written in the if-then form. Example number four. I'll be safe from COVID-19 if I clean my hands often. Hypothesis, I clean my hands often. Conclusion, I'll be safe from COVID-19. Example number five. I'll wash the motorcycle if the weather is nice. Hypothesis, the weather is nice. Conclusion, I will wash the motorcycle. Next is example number six. I'll be a millionaire when I win the lottery. Hypothesis, I win the lottery. Conclusion, I will be a millionaire. Determining whether an if-then statement is true or false. A conditional is true if it can be verified by the following. Number one, pack. Number two, definition. Number three, property. Number four, postulate. Number five, theorem. True statement. If today is Monday, then tomorrow will be Tuesday. Next, a false condition occurs when, number one, the hypothesis is true. Number two, the conclusion is false. False statement. If the sum of the angles of a polygon is 180 degrees, then it is a square. Next, transforming statement into its equivalent if-then form. Since we know how to identify hypothesis and conclusion, we can transform statement into its equivalent if-then form. Examples, I'll be safe from COVID-19 if I clean my hands often. If-then form. If I clean my hands often, then I'll be safe from COVID-19. Another example, vertical angles are congruent. If then form, if two angles are vertical, then they are congruent. Next example, cheese contain calcium. If then form. If it is a cheese, then it contains calcium. Next example, 18 years old are eligible to drive. If then form, if you are 18 years old, then you are eligible to drive. Transforming statement into its equivalent if then form. Example, a right angle measures 90 degrees. If then form, if it is a right angle, then it measures 90 degrees. Next, a polygon with four sides is a quadrilateral. The if then form, if a polygon has four sides, then it is a quadrilateral.
Next, more examples. In the equation 2x equals 12, x is equal to 6. If then form, if 2x is equal to 12, then x is equal to 6. All congruent segments have the same length. If then form, if a polygon has four sides, then it is a quadrilateral. Maraming salamat din sa aking mga estudyante. Sa isa Ak Lopez Integrated School, Grade 8 Prometium, Grade 8 Beryllium, at sa aking advisory class, Grade 8 Hydrogen, Next, Grade 8 Krypton, Grade 8 Argon, Grade 8 Carbon. Maraming salamat sa inyong pakikinig at sa mga batang mandunong na nasa ikawalong baitang. Sana ay marami kayong natutunan. Thanks for watching. God bless. Thank you.